becoming champion and uh, how, how do you feel like you've grown uh, sort of even this year or the past couple of years? Well, like you said, like St. Louis Anarchy started, you know, after the LWA went away and the LWA mm -hmm. before that, before St. Louis Anarchy, I was pretty much scared of the barn owl. I, I was, I was a baby face. I never talked. You know, and then at the very end of LWA, I become Gary the Night Owl, which was still a heel character, but I had never talked. Mm. And then I finally went heel down in ACW as Gary J, and I slowly realized that I could do this talking thing and just be really witty and be a jackass and, you know, be your heel character. And then with St. Louis Anarchy, I've definitely developed, like, this whole aura, you know, including, you know, with my mom, my dad, and now with, you know, the, the new group that just established boss in, in, uh, St. Louis Anarchy. So like St. Louis Anarchy has helped me grow, like with just my character overall. And then they're putting me in there with guys that are a hell of a lot more talented and better than me, just making me even better, you know, like with Davey Richards, Sammy Callahan, uh, I'm wrestling Roderick Strong on February 28th. I mean, that's going to mm -hmm. be a challenge. That's going to be a test. And then guys like Kyle O'Reilly, like I've been in the ring with some of the best around and it just, you know, helps everybody out, but it really helps me out because it takes me to that next level. Very cool. Uh, and you mentioned, cause the one thing I definitely wanted to have you on to talk about was the uh, St. Louis Anarchy double shot that's coming up for a uh, gateway to Anarchy, um, February 28th and March 21st. Um, like you mentioned, you're wrestling Roger Strong and you're wrestling, uh, uh, you're facing Kyle O'Reilly for the, your title in a two out of three falls match. Um, what sort of your, your prep going into, uh, I guess these two contests, um, like you mentioned, you've wrestled guys like a Davey Richards, like a Sammy Callahan, some people who I think are the ones that are sort of revered in indie wrestling as some of like the hardest hitters. And, and you're, I, you personally, I think your biggest strength is you're a, one of those upper comers when it comes to like one of those hard strikers, uh, just intense, uh, competitors. Um, so what's your strategy, I guess, going into that weekend of, uh, of shows? Um, I don't know. Just train really hard for it, uh, focus and just, you know, do what I do best, go on with the game plan and just be really aggressive. You know, you can't back down. These guys have been all over the world. So, I mean, I've wrestled Kyle O'Reilly before and I've lost. So, you know, this is my time to, uh, beat him, you know, and especially in a two out three falls match, but I've never been in the ring with Roderick Strong. So that's going to be a test. So, I mean, you can train as hard as you want for it, but I mean, you just need to go in go into a balls to the wall, you know, headstrong. 